Okay, so just a few pickups, a puzzle that I got recently, and a package that I got in the post today. So first up is these two games which I got from CX a few days ago. Um, Shellshock Nam 67. This is a third person shooter which takes place in Vietnam obviously and it costs just £1.50. Um, I've only played it for a short while just to see if the game works and it seems pretty good. And then um, Bass Strike which is obviously a fishing game and this costs £1.50 as well and both of these are complete. And then today I went into CEX. This was a different CEX from the one that I usually go to because I went to a different town today because I had to see the dentist. So. King of Fires, 2001, I mean 2002-2001, and this cost uh, £2.50, fortunately there's no manual with it, and the disc is really really scratched up, the guy in the shop actually showed me the disc, he told me that it was really scratched and it may not work, and he you know, if, if I wanted to wait for like five minutes, it, it cleaned the disc for me. Um, but I didn't really have enough time to wait because, you know, because of, of having to get the bus and stuff, so. And then I got Driven to Destruction for £4.50. This usually, I think this goes for quite a bit more on eBay, anything from around six to ten pounds, I think. I think this is supposed to be a test drive game, although it doesn't actually say test drive anywhere on it. But it looks like a really uh, interesting, fun game. And um, if I've not said already, it costs four pound fifty, and that is complete. And the disc is kind of scratched up. And then lastly, I got uh, SNK versus Capcom SVC Chaos uh, for four pound fifty. Yeah, it's going to be a while before I can do any reviews. Um, on the 2D fighters that I've got for the PS2. Reason being is because I've not got an arcade stick yet and it's going to be a while before I can get an arcade stick because you know I think the good ones for the PS2 are quite pricey and I can't really afford one right now. And that is complete. And uh, the disc looks pretty much mint, just a bit dirty. So I suppose it's not actually meant then if it's dirty, but you know what I mean, it's, there's not really any scratches on it at all. So, a few days ago I ended up getting this puzzle in the post, it's a YJ Hart, it's basically a 3x3 mod. Um, as you can see it's not fully solved yet, and that's because I'm, I always struggle to try and solve the, I'm totally fine with the bottom layer and the middle layer, you solve it just like a 3x3 but the top layer I always struggle with um, I just find it really difficult for some reason on a few occasions I've got lucky and I've managed to solve it but sometimes I just can't solve it so um, let's put this camera down so I can show you what the turning is like so the turning isn't too bad, it is kind of catcher um, Corner cutting isn't too bad, but it's not great. I mean, it, it won't corner cut if you put it in. If you put like this piece, if you put like this bit in the middle of this piece, am I making any sense? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll scramble it up so you can see what it looks like when it's scrambled. This only cost about three pound. Um, can't remember where I got it from. It might have been HK Now Store. There you can see it's pretty scrambled up. And I've got this package in the post. Um, 
it says the description for the contents, it says uh, it's an MP3 data cable and I fucking hope it isn't because I didn't order an MP3 data cable hopefully it's going to be a puzzle um, by the shape of the of the package I think it should be a magic or a master magic or something so I'll just get a, a knife to open it up Actually, I might not need a knife. Uh, I'll just tear it. So this is a Gugia uh, Master Magic, it should be. Let's try and get all this on camera. So as you can see it says folding puzzle there. It's got some Arabic writing there. I think you'd call it Arabic anyway. It's all little kids there on the back. And you can see it says Guja Magic Cube there, so let's open this up. Um, this was really cheap, I think this was about £3 as well. I just hope that the rings do match up on this puzzle, because with some puzzles, with some magics, uh, the rings don't actually match up, they're kind of misaligned, if, if that's the right way of putting it. So you've got an instruction sheet there which tells you how to solve it. Um, can't actually remember how to solve one of these because it's been so long since I've solved one so I'm not going to mix it up and, and uh, solve it on camera yeah there it is it feels um, let's try and get it all on camera it's really scratched up which is disappointing kind of feels cheap as well feels very uh, very thin like it will break easily but there it is um, Yeah, um, what was I going to say? I could have sworn that on the website where I saw this, it was um, it actually had a red background instead of a black background. And I think the rings might have been yellow, I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's basically some things, you know, some games uh, and puzzles which I got recently. Thanks for watching.